Welcome back everybody to another Marvel video. Um, I know it's been a long time since the what if episodes came out. I know it's been months, but I never finished the series off. I never got the chance and the reason for that is because I took my Marvel hiatus literally um, right as the final what if episode came out. So I covered all of the original what if episodes, but I never got to cover the final what if episodes. So I know it's late, but I also know that most of you are just here for me rather than the actual what if episode and I'm sure the ones that like Marvel probably haven't seen the what if episode in a while so I'll give a little bit of a recap about what the episode actually was and then I'll give my thoughts on it and my review on it with that being said uh thank you guys for watching this you know I, I it means a lot to me um Marvel videos uh you know they're something that I do for fun and the support is crazy the last Marvel video was the Eternals video and it got what like 9k views and then the one before that got like 13k in the return to Marvel video I said even if my Marvel video gets 1,000 views, I would still gladly upload it, and the fact that I got 13,000 views is just unbelievable to me. I'm sure this video is going to get like 5k views at max, but thank you guys so much either way. I really appreciate it. With that being said, let's get into it. So, what if episode 9 was a continuity off of what if what if episode 8? Now, obviously, they're all the same series. They take place in the same multiverse, and um, it's all connected, but what if episode 8 and 9 were like the first two episodes that were directly connected, and the episodes before led to the connection of what if episode 9 so let me explain basically the entire what if series was a bunch of different stories short stories about characters that we've seen in the mcu uh, for example star lord was king tatala and um gamora was like a hero from the star and whatnot and so um, it was just a bunch of different stories combined like Party Thor and the final what if episode was basically a continuation of episode 8 So in episode 8 if you guys don't know what happened Ultron got Vision's body and if you guys have seen Age of Ultron You know that the Avengers gain gain control of Vision's body and create Vision uh, Who's made from Jarvis Ultron and Tony and uh, in this uh, what if episode 8 Ultron was actually the one that got Vision's body and Not only that. Oh, no, this guy's gonna get my bed that's unfortunate ultron um got the body and then he also got all of the infinity stones which was really really bad and so he became the all-powerful guy that just basically devoured everything and the watcher interfered for the first time ever because of how powerful ultron got and the watcher is basically from the comics said to never interfere in any conflict that ever happens but he was aware that this one time he kind of had to because um Ultron was literally eating galaxies, which is unbelievable. So basically, uh, the Watcher interfered and he created a multiversal team of a bunch of different characters that we've all seen have different stories in the previous What If episodes. And so it was Party Thor, it was King T'Challa or Star Lord, um, it was Killmonger, Supreme Strange, the Strange uh, that we saw in episode four, the most dangerous evil one who lost everything he cared about. And he knew that he had to somehow repent for what he did so his way of doing this was accepting the watcher's offer and basically this whole episode i'm not going to give a detailed uh, breakdown i don't want to make this video too long this whole episode was just about this team stopping ultron vision eventually at the end winning and this episode was crazy okay this episode was so good in my eyes i don't know if people agree with me but personally i thought this was a really good episode i'm not even gonna lie i know some people said that there was like plot holes and stuff but that's kind of bound to happen when you have characters like this there's no way you can not have plot holes when you create characters like this and that's kind of one of the problems with doing that in the first place but personally when there's infinite scenarios there's infinite plot holes and i think that's okay because at the end of the day plot holes should be allowed in scenarios like this because it's just one reality right you know it's one reality plot holes are acceptable in this situation because no matter what there's always going to be plot holes any option will have a plot hole and so honestly I was fine with the plot holes. I was fine that Ultron lost. I was okay with that because if Ultron didn't lose, we'd see Ultron Vision eventually come into our multiverse. Keep in mind that uh, this was entirely canon, I'm pretty sure. So um, what was happening was actually happening in the MCU as well. And so who knows, um, Ultron Vision could have accidentally eaten um, one of our galaxies, one of the worlds that we live in and we are a part of, and that would have been terrible. That would have been so 
bad. I really thought the Zola interaction was really interesting. I really liked that they brought him back for the last two episodes. I thought that was pretty cool. And come on. Oh, I got him. Nice, GG. One thing I do want to say about this episode is I kind of feel like Supreme Strange kind of carried their team, the Guardians of the Multiverse, on his back. Now, I understand that when you have a character like Supreme Strange, someone that is so powerful, and you put them against people like Party Thor, who is also very powerful, but not even close compared to Supreme Strange, and Gamora, and Killmonger, and T'Challa, who is probably the least powerful of all of them, uh, and obviously there's Captain Carter as well, I forgot to mention her, I feel like it's not really a relative balance, and that is, that's honestly okay. I think the thing about the Avengers, the original Avengers team, is every single character was vital to the team. Hawkeye was vital, Black Widow was vital, Captain America was vital, Tony was vital, Bruce was vital, Every single one of them were vital characters, and Avengers wouldn't have existed without any of them. And so, that's one of the things that I didn't love. Um, I felt like it was a very random group of characters, um, and they weren't all vital. I feel like... I feel like if some of the characters that were in that last episode weren't there, things would have gone the same way. For example, T'Challa and Thor and whatnot. And I kind of feel like Strange carried the whole team on his back. And I feel like the story wouldn't have been much different if he was the only one there along with Captain Carter and Black Widow. With that being said, I know that at the end of the day, Strange wasn't even the one to stop uh, Ultron Vision. I know it was Carter and Black Widow with their Zola strategy, but I feel like they kind of did that to make it so that Strange wouldn't be the one to stop him because that's kind of what would normally happen in any other scenario. Like, obviously, Strange was the most powerful one there. We already know this, and I feel like the only reason he's not the one that stopped Ultron Vision is because they needed a different way out. But regardless of that, I still thought the episode was really, really nice. I would probably give it a 9 out of 10. I felt a little bit rushed, and uh, some of the lines were a little bit corny in my opinion but i don't really hold that against marvel um a lot of the script has been pretty like corny and that's okay it's keep in mind it's an animated tv show aimed at a younger audience as well it wasn't really aimed uh for an older audience the way some of the other shows that are going to come out soon like moon knight are and so i think it's okay that some of the script wasn't as serious and um that's all right you know i also like how the script kind of followed the characters rather than maintaining the way it would have been in like movies for example at the start of the episode um we saw captain carter fighting hydra um and it was a parallel to captain america the winter soldier and i feel like um it matched Captain Carter's text patterns and speech patterns, not text patterns, we're not texting, speech patterns pretty well, and so that's definitely, like, something that I didn't mind, I thought that was really cool. Okay, let me try to kill this guy, um, yeah, you gotta go. Okay, that, that was interesting, that guy had some very weird hits. Overall, though, I'd give the episode a 9 out of 10. Still a really good episode. I still think that, that the Strange episode was by far the best one, and the second best one was episode 8. The Zombies episode was also really nice, and overall, this show was pretty good. Uh, I think making a tier list might not be a terrible idea for this show, because every single episode was a different story besides the last one, so I don't think it's the worst idea if I decided to make like a tier list of all of the what if episodes, but um, if I do that, I don't know if it's going to be in the near future, because Moon Knight is actually coming out very, very soon, and that's something I'm really, really excited for. Moon Knight is going to be an amazing show with Oscar Isaac, and I'm so excited. Uh, I'm so excited to see this in action, and it's coming out five days as of this upload, which is crazy. That is not a long time at all, and I couldn't be more excited. I think this is the most excited I've ever been for a TV show, probably besides WandaVision, because WandaVision was kind of the first TV show, and all of the hype was around it, and that was kind of a different era, honestly. Like, I remember when WandaVision was about to come out, and every single person in the world was really excited to see it, because it was something new. We'd never seen any Marvel TV shows, and it was going to be crazy, and it was really good. I, I liked WandaVision a lot. So yeah, um, honestly, I'm really excited for Moon Knight. Let me know your guys' thoughts on What If Episode 9, I think. 
um overall i thought this episode was great i thought the show was really good i think that it got a lot more hate than it should have honestly um like i really didn't think it was that bad at all and honestly it was quite nice in my opinion i actually thought it was really good so um i don't know that might just be me but i know a lot of people really like this and i think a lot of people that are into animated tv uh probably liked it as well because one thing i cannot lie about the animations were on point with that being said i hope everyone enjoyed this video i don't even know if i'm gonna win this game because this guy is way more stacked than me but i'm just gonna try to kill him anyways i hope everyone enjoyed thank you guys for watching uh yeah i think i'm dead that's okay anyways i hope everyone had a great day peace out bye